Hi everyone, my name is Zach. Uh, my presentation topic is on evaluating different landing design methods in RollEng version nine. So first, a little bit of introduction. Uh, forest landing is an integral part of modern whole tree harvesting operations. It is a major component for earthwork. The landing size has increased significantly com compared to what it was in the 1980s now averaging 3,900 meters square. Uh, they're expensive to build. In the 2011 study, uh, the, so the cost associated to landing construction ranged from 4,000 to 7,000 New Zealand dollars. More recently, the average cost for landing construction according to Aratu Forest is averaging around 14,000 New Zealand dollars, with some cases up to 100,000 New Zealand dollars in the Gisman area. So if a landing is not located, designed or managed adequately, it can lead to major environmental safety and production problems. So Road Engine Forestry. Uh, Road Engine is an engineering design software specialized in road and corridor design, capable of producing digital terrain model from airborne LIDAR survey and drone survey. As the accuracy and accessibility for those data being improved, Road Engine becomes uh, more and more handy when facing different challenges on designing forest uh, infrastructures for designing forestry infrastructure as it can give a high level of detail on infrastructure location and geometry. And landing designs in road edge. Uh, as I mentioned before, road edge was spe specialized in designing road roading infrastructures. Uh, there has been a number of publications on design road, forest roads by using the software. However, un unlike roading design, Road Edge does not have a built-in template that is specialized for landing designs, and there are very few publications has talked about uh, landing designs in Road Edge. So the aim for this study is to evaluate and compare three different approaches to design landings in Road Edge and gives a recommendation on design procedure when facing different scenarios. Methodology of the, the study, uh, the study area is in Okiwa Forest, uh, which is one of Aratu's forest estates in Gisborne area. The LiDAR data using for the study is open source and can be downloaded from Open Top Topography and Lynx website. The study aims to build five types of common landing layouts using three different methods. Uh, here's an example of a split level landing that is built by Road Edge. And the first method uh, is the, uh, the first approach utilize the pro parameter override function in Road Edge location module. The function allows user to override the width of the Road Edge template and makes the widened road surface as the landing area. The term parameter override method in the following sections will be referred to this method. And approach two uh, is to design the landing and ter terrain module using the graded path functions that allows user to import a polygon features as the landing area. The method requires user to put the landing prior to the road design in terrain. Uh, terrain means the module and so it requires a good knowledge of the location, size, and shape of the landing design. And the third approach is the landing design templates that is currently being used in R2 Forest. The method use, uses two separate alignments in location. Uh, one acts as the landing surface, which is similar to the pro parameter override method, but the fill and cut better of the landing was said to be excluded for, from this alignment and the other alignment acts as the uh, cut and fill better around the landing edge and exclude any earthwork inside the landing area. The individual align method in the following sections will be referred to this method. So in the study, it was, In the study, it was found that terrain method and individual alignment method has similar cut and few better estimation. And here's a, a example of the comparison between those two methods. And 
but the override parameter method gives different results. The difference was found to be caused by two main reasons. First is that in location module, it is unable to take the cut and fill better at the start at the end of the alignments into account. So you can, you can see here, uh, there's no uh, estimation uh, on the start and the end of the override parameter method. And the second reason is that in road edge, the template was calculate every certain meter vertical to the alignment. So in the override parameter method, the alignment is actually the center line of the road, which means the cut and fill slope is also calculated perpendicularly to that center line, uh, while in the terrain and in the individual alignment method, the alignment is the, is the uh, edge of the landing. In the graph, we can see slope calculated by terrain is perpendicular to the edge and the override parameter method is perpendicular to the center line. So they will give a different slope estimation. In terms of earth walk volume, from the figure, it can also be found that the individual alignment method and terrain method have similar outcomes. And the override parameter methods tends to have a smaller estimation, especially when the landing construction is under in hall construction. This result is largely aligned with the reason I explained in the previous slide. So it was also found that in the current version of location module, is unable to take the interaction between two alignments into account. The earth walk volume in the area of the interaction between landing and the road entering or exiting landing may be estimated twice if you only use location module. The figure gives an example of the more volume estimation, uh, the volume estimation difference between the landing with road intersection included and excluded. This is done by import a part of road from location into terrain at the same elevation level as the landing surface to override the original terrain with the road design. And the table shows that the earth walk volume decrease about 4,000 cubic meters and change from borrow to waste. It was also found that on this, uh, and that uh, road engine does not contain a built-in template for cut and bench fuel construction. This is the major construction method in steep, steep terrain that is demonstrated in both forest practice guide and forest road menu. It is challenging, but may be, may be achieved by using the customization function, uh, customized uh, template function in location module. The software has provided very minimal resource for users to learn how to uh, how to use such functions. And the only resource you can find is a single web page uh, that introduced the function, but no further uh, further instruction on the specification of uh, how to use the function. So, so for recommendation for the users to uh, use the override prime, parameter method on relatively flat terrain with the landing can be approximately rectangle on steep terrain. User may consider using uh, individual alignment, alignment method to design the landing shape and balance, uh, and balance earth walk volume. Once the rough shape and altitude is, altitude is completed, the landing shape and altitude can be imported into a terrain module to make uh, the influence of road entering or exiting uh, the landing into account. So feedbacks, there's a few feedbacks on the, for the developers as well. Uh, so the first one is to add more advanced te templates such as ditches, bench fuel slope uh, in terrain module for the graded pipe faction, uh, function. Uh, alter alter alternatively, uh, add graded pipe function at a great graded pair function in location module. And third one is to increase the level of interaction of for different alignments in location module. And the, the final one is to update tutorials for customizing templates such uh, because that such function can be essential uh, under different scenarios. So this is my presentation. Thank you.